this is Connie and I'm going to do a get ready with me today. I've got a couple videos to do today so I thought I would just do a get ready with me. I'm going to go a little bit out of my box on this one. I'm going to try anyway. And um, I haven't done anything. I haven't put on primer. I've uh, washed moisturized my face. That is all that I have done today so far. I am trying, to, trying a different camera handle, angle. You tell me, is this better or worse? Because I'm tired of cutting half of my face off when I'm doing my makeup because I have to use a makeup mirror up close. And I have to have two hands because I have to mess with my goofy eyes. So, let's get started. Um, I am going to use this here I bought a while ago and I just took it out of my drawer. I have not used it yet. Um, you know, I've got things in my drawer that... I was kind of saving, but this here is a uh, Blur and Redness Control uh, Master Prime by Maybelline. It's not too old. Um, I bought it and I thought, well, I'm going to wait on this until I use up some of my other primers. But I'm going to try this today just to see what it does for my redness on my face. And it has never been opened, so I'm going to open it up. It comes out white. We're going to see if this helps with the spots on my face. I don't have, and I'm going to use my color, my corrector too. Um, I had somebody tell me to um, prime and then do the color correct which I was doing it just the opposite I was doing the color correct then priming so I'm gonna try this this is rather greasy feeling okay okay so I am going to do my color correcting and that is here and I don't know which one to use um, so I'm going to use the bottom, this one, for my dark spots. And I'm just going to use my finger, kind of warm it up a little bit in there. And just pat in that wherever I think I need it. If I can get rid of some of that, a little bit of that darkness. I just noticed within the last, oh, not awful long, that I'm starting to get some um, sunspots or age spots or something. And right here, if you can see those red spots, that is from frying an egg the other day. I got it too hot and it splattered up at me. At least it wasn't in my eye or something. That is really pink, but we're going to... Never done it this way before. Never done this much before, so I'm going to... We are going to try it. If it doesn't work, I know better next time. This is right here and right here are the ones that bother me the most because they're those, um, just those dark spots. All right. So I am going to use, today I'm going to use my Super Stay Better skin. I'm used to it being over here. <laughs> Super Stay Better skin in Let me figure out a way to do my, because my camera is behind, I have a desk. That's right here, my desk. And I have my camera behind my desk, and then there's the wall. So there's no way I can go back or any farther with my camera. There's no way I can come any closer with my camera. I mean, I can zoom in and out, but you, you, you know what I mean, to move the camera. 
itself. I can't move it towards me or behind. It's where it's got to be. So um, I'm trying to figure this out so half of my face isn't missing when I'm doing my makeup for you guys. You know, I tried to get in closer and then I was down here like this doing it. You know, stuff like that. So help me figure this out. I don't know. I've got to have my, my makeup mirror. My makeup mirror is right in front of me, right here. And it's, it's um, what do you call it, magnified because that's what I need with my I have to be able to see my face good enough. So, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to use um, this brush today. whether I got too much on or not it looks like kind of smeary I don't even need to I better put one pump in here see me because I'm not watching the camera. I'm used to the camera being right here and you're up there. <laughs> so is this too weird to have you have this tilted so I'm looking up at you? You guys tell me. You're the ones that are seeing this video. So, so anyway, let's go on with the eyebrows. And today I'm going to use my, uh, I just reached in and wiggled all my brow stuff around and grabbed one out. And it was my Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it is in, it's Tinted Brow Gel in Brunette. And that's all it says. And this one here, I was thinking was the one that was kind of reddish. Um, I needed a different color. But I tell you what, this has got the best spoolie on it of any of them. It is so soft and so nice feeling. It's just so soft. I just love the way it feels on my, on my brow. I was going to try to... Uh, use a pencil on my brows one of these days too. I'm just not very good at that so I just this is why I just only use this. So if it's too much work <laughs> for me I am going to not do that but I thought I would try it. Not do it and um, just keep doing this because this is just good enough for me. I don't care if I have them perfect. My eyebrows are far from perfect. I don't know if the young lady that mentioned about my brows being distant cousins instead of sisters is still with us or not. See, they don't match, but I, don't I use the Naked Urban Decay. I've only used this one other time because I wanted to use up my Ulta before I started on this one, but since that one's not handy, I will use this one. Oh, much better. It's still a little watery. I'm sure it's not like this all the time, is it? I hope. This isn't near as shiny as my other one, so it looks a little bit weird to me. 
if you can see that, you can really see how wet it is. I've never seen that do that for other people. I don't know whether it's, maybe I need to, um, I don't know. It's weird though. All right, I make up. We are going with the Modern Renaissance palette today. And I'm like I said, I'm gonna try to go a little bit out of my box today. Um, so let's do a regular base. And already I forgot how pigmented this was because this is really dark. <gasps> Excuse me. All right. So I got to decide what I'm going to do here. gonna do I'm gonna try something different today I just watched a tutorial from thrift chick if you guys watch her on the 35 o Morphe palette and I took pictures but um, and I did I actually did the tutorial with her but I don't have the 35 o I've got 35 OS and the 35 O matte, um, but I don't have the regular 35 O. All right, let's see here. Guys, I don't have the slightest idea what I'm doing. I'm just playing. So, hopefully, you'll forgive me here. I don't know. I'm trying to remember what all she did. Whoops. I'm taking all my makeup off with it too, aren't I? I didn't even think about that when I started that. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more of this on. To 
kind of make it look a little bit more blended. I just feel like this eye is a lot darker than the other one. Okay, so... Terrible at doing liner. Terrible. Um, See, I'm still down farther, aren't I? I don't know what else to do, guys. That doesn't, it looks like shit. <laughs> Well, I know what the problem is over on this side is because I don't have as much eyebrow on this side. I mean, eyelid, lid space on this side because of um, my eye being sliced across. They had to close it up. So that was part of the problem right there. Is that I had to cover up a little bit more of my lid. Um... One more thing. Hey guys, I'm not happy with it, but like I like I told you, I was playing, and I don't know if I got anything right. I don't know um, how it looks. You tell me. You know, be honest, but don't be mean, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's go with uh, 
mascara and I'm going to use the Super Sizer by CoverGirl today. I haven't used this for a little while and I love this. I'm going to go over my lashes a few times today, um, which I normally don't do. Still a little wet, so it's still a little clumpy because of it. I should have curled my lashes. I never can remember to do that. Oh. Okay, guys. Um, let's go for concealer. Let's see. Today I'm going to use my Stroke of Light by Bare Minerals. I think this is more of a brightener than a concealer, but we're going to go for it. And I um, wet a beauty blender. This is not a beauty blender. It's a fake, but it's, it's a damp sponge anyway. And I'm going to use that today. I'm not going to use a brush anymore on my concealer because I think, I think a beauty blender works better. And this is huge compared to what it was. Huge. I don't know if that's considered even a concealer. I don't know. I don't care at this point. See, this is so dang big, it's hard to get in around my eye, though, because it swelled up so much. Okay. Uh, blush. I am going to use my Laura Geller, and i got to remember to hang on to it because it's broken. It comes right out of there. Laura Geller blush. In, it's an ombre blush, by the way, in Pink Blossom. Does that show up? And I'm going to use Hard Candies um, Highlighter in Tiki. And it's broken too. <laughs> I'm breaking all my stuff. I tried to open that too hard last time and I broke it. I guess I will try this, try to put this back together later because it doesn't want to fit right. Okay, for lipstick, I am going to use my NARS that I got a year ago for my birthday. Um, my birthday is the first of this coming month, by the way. But um, what is the birthday gift this year for Sephora? Do you have to buy something to get your birthday gift? That I don't know either. But I'm going to wear it. And it's the red one. It's so beautiful. I have no idea what it's even called. Hang on a second here. Cruella. <laughs> All right.
All right, guys. That is my get ready with me today. Um, let me know what you think of my eyes. I just think it. I think they look pretty out there. Um, maybe it's just because I'm not used to them. I don't know. I don't think they look great, though. But let me know what you think, okay? Um, I would love to get lots of comments on this video. And if you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up and share the video. Share it on Twitter. Share it on uh, Instagram. Share it on Facebook. Whatever you want to do, I'd be very happy if you would. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.